Who from Canada? Thank you. Welcome to my place. Today is a tour directly from my place. Hey, Eva, thanks for coming. Here we have Mary Lou from Calgary. And Ian, where are you from? TND. Please let me know where are you and Ava and I am from. That's great for me to then get used to you. Hey, I'm here in my bedroom, in my place in the historic city center of Rio. And it's my first uh, virtual tour from home through Hago. So I'm very excited to share with you. And uh, I am here directly from Rio, and we will share a little bit of the concept of Abia Yala. Have you heard about Abia Yala before? So, yeah, Mary, I haven't either. So that's uh, something that I've learned through a street art in the port zone where I run tours. Two artists which are from the Cosmonauts Mosaics, and I'm going to share their work today. And I will share a little bit virtually here using multimedia materials that I've captured. Hi, Joey. Thanks for joining me. And then I will uh, invite you. Where are you speaking from? I will invite you also to join another tour on uh, Viernes, Sexta-feira, Friday, Colorado, USA. Hey, Joey. Thank you for joining. Uh, here is winter in Rio, which is around 27, now 25 centigrades. It's evening time, around 67 Fahrenheit. Oh, thanks. Great to see you here around. Thanks for taking your time to be here present. Today it's a special session. We, uh, uh, we are a group of guides also from around the world supporting each other. And also we have initiatives such as a group of South American guides, mainly women together, which are Sayuri, Grace, Elizabeth, Puma, and Grace in Argentina, Staffy in Quit. Quito, Ecuador, and we um, are thinking every time we have a struggle such as in Ukraine and other countries, how we can get together and support each other through the works we do. So we came up with the Stand for Ecuador, where we are asking you who are participating and watching this uh, stream here that you help writing to Hego and asking them to weave the commission, the part of the commission of the tours to the tours of Steffi and the ones which are hashtagged uh, Stand With Ecuador, which is this one, for example, is hashtagged like that. And so that would be uh, the commission from Hego would go directly through Steffi there in Ecuador. So we would like to invite you to follow her as well. Thank you so much, Mary. Uh, and um, today our Abia Yala art tour is related to the concept of Latin America and us getting together through the Americas as well, from north to south. So let's go. Thank you so much. I have a background in visual arts and education. That's why I love to run the street art tours like Grace also likes to do that. And it's very exciting to be able to dive either from home and to use our cameras to showcase live streamed on the streets and through our homes. So that is written Abia Yala and it's a mosaic from artists of the Cosmonaut Mosaics Studio, art studio. And what is the concept of Abia Yala? For those who were wondering what that is, so Abia Yala is a name given to the American continent, and it was uh, it came up from a, a conference of different originary people of different parts of the Americas, and they came up with the discussions that through the name America, which comes also from Amerigo Vespucio 
and from the colonizers arriving in, Amer in South America and Central America and naming these new lands and the, the people from the Americas with the names that they could pronounce and say. So from the originary people's perspectives, uh, taking um, ownership of the names, original names back, is a way to decolonize, is a way to take back the right to the language which was also taken out of us from since this colonization, colonization started. So then uh, the couple from the cosmonaut mosaics, they came up with this idea of honoring the originary people through their art, doing the mosaic on the port zone of Rio, which I'm going to show you next Friday with my gimbal on the streets, and I will show you there live. But now, if you want to see the works of Cosmonaut, they have a website and social media on Instagram and Facebook, Cosmonauta Mosaicos. And I'm going to show you the artists and what they do from here, and next week, we will visit their art studio as well. So this is very exciting. Today I have a chance to show you at a, a little bit more about the concept with calmer, with time, and starting with the Cobra Grande. And the Cobra Grande, which I'm going to show you here, is it was also installed on the streets of the port area. And it represents the origins of the originary people of different parts of the world. So this was found that under the researches that many uh, the snakes or the cobras, they have similar myths all around the world. And many originary people, including the ones who proposed the name of Abiyayala, they are predominantly in the South America and the Andes, uh, they said that they came up that and figured out that originary people of all people from different tribes and peoples around the world, they have a common myth that a big snake would originate many of the originary people and societies, ancient societies, ancestral people around the world. This is a myth which is common in different legends, tales of originary people around the globe. So uh, then they say that the cobra grande, the big snake, the big cobra, uh, in the shape uh, originated rivers, and in the rivers the people were being originated. So the cobra is a divinity, um, god, or a goddess related to the origins of earth and societies and peoples. So that's very interesting how they have the similarities. So that's why the murals that you see here installed in the port area at Travessa do Liceu in the port area, they will have different mosaics representing different originary people which I'm going to show you next Friday on this street. And they started to represent the Cobra Grande. Here is the artist John uh, working on the installation of the mosaic of the Cobra Grande, explaining also to the people crossing the streets what is uh, I just explained to you. And they entitled that the Murals of Abia Yala. And here's the couple the artists who did the mosaics installation of the Cobra Grandes and the Abia Yala. They are a couple. She is Natalia and he is John. And Natalia is from Chile, living in Rio for many years. Here, the concept of Abia Yala now represented on this mosaic and representing also different meanings from the Kuna people of the... Andes, 
they said that the word Abiyala means the land, the new land, fertile land, or land of blood, which also, I think, tells a lot about the constant conflicts that colonizers with originary people faced in the, in the Americas by the different struggles and um, conflicts in the land. So the idea of Abiyala would be changing the Eurocentric shape of the North America, North America in the North area and the South America in the South. So shifting the map from this, which is an Eurocentric perspective, then you would have the gathering of the condor, which is also found in Bolivia. Namaste, namaste, Rishi. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, Heather. So Abhi Ayala would be the un unity of the Americas from north to south. So it says from the tale that the major land of Abhi Ayala would be in peace, at peace, when the condor united with the eagle. The condor from South America, found in many countries in South America, would meet in peace the eagle from the North America, and then united they would form the Abhi Ayala. And here we see many of the processes of creating artist John creating the pieces in his art studio for the Abhi Ayala murals and the representation of the condor with the eagle, South America, Central America and North America in a different perspective. So this is a different proposition, proposition which is revolutionary in, and it's featured in this port area of Rio de Janeiro. So then they will be representing different people like the Mapuche people, the Penwenche people, and the Condor. And he is showing the artists when they were finishing the last final touches. Also, these did yeah. this uh, work representing different people of South America. And they did this work with them, uh, researching. Uh, there are thousands of different originary people in South America. Hey, Ronnie, thanks for joining. So they were researching which were, could be some of these people that could be represented in the murals. And they, in a dialogue with them, they asked for the, some background information to research and then create their art. In this video, the people from the Andes Cordillera, close to Peruvian area in South America, they were thanking, acknowledging the work that they did with their mosaics, representing the people, the Mapuche people, and other originary people from South America as well. So the Cosmonautas mosaics is uh, this couple who develop different arts and in their art studios. And we will visit on next Friday afternoon, at 3 p.m. UTC minus three time. They, we will visit them uh, in their art studio. They make many uh, workshops in Rio de Janeiro involving the local community. I myself have taken a a tour uh, workshop with them to learn this technique of mosaic to make another installation for a different project. Now here we see the alpaca, uh, also we know here in Brazil as the llamas. There are the alpacas, which is this nice here. And we are meeting with Christ's Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. So in this situation here, we are building up a collaboration between, hi Silvia, thanks for joining, uniting ourselves from South America in order to stand for Ecuador 
and support Stephanie Steffi with her tours in Ecuador because Ecuador is facing many troubles now with the neoliberal governments, which is uh, following the rules of increasing the oil prices and which it will increase the prices of all living costs and food and other expenses which are essential for their people and it's creating generating a lot of huge crises in South America and in Ecuador so the food price increased and doubled and is tripling and then Steffi uh, is having with her family and uh, the local communities a lot of trouble to make their incomes because of the many conflicts. So many of us are getting together, in my case here from Rio de Janeiro, represented by the Christ Redeemer statue. And we will run a tour of Christ Redeemer next Wednesday. Keep up with us. And the Llamas of the Andes Cordillera dos Andes, which is a very important animal also in this region here where the Quechua people are located. Hi, Dana. Thanks for joining. Dana is also a tour guide here in Rio de Janeiro, and she runs uh, tours in similar areas where I run with her own unique style. Thanks for joining, Dana. We are doing this collaborative tour uh, today directly from home to sh showcase the work of John and Natalia with the Cosmonauta mosaics representing different originary people. Yes, uh, Mary Lou, now we are facing, that's what my mom says, it's going on all over the place uh, with many governments which are really making and playing the games of the different stock markets and different big companies in detriment of the regionary people and the local people around the world, so which is facing a lot of economic problems, in, uh, increased, aggravated by COVID, but which started even before with the lack of many of uh, legislation powers that the people had and they were missing more and more. So here the Quechua people represented on this mosaic is it's present also in the uh, in different parts uh, geographic parts of the South America, including Peruvian mountains and also originary people in Bolivia, where Stephanie runs she runs tours in Quito, in the capital of Bolivia. So the llama represented here, the alpacas, is a very important animal. And also I brought a little souvenir here to animate the scene. And it's very used in the work of weaving, of creating this handcrafted materials by the women who are matriarchal communities, weaving with their materials, with the wool taken out of the alpacas. And with the weaving processes, represented in this mosaic, they also share their stories through generations from mothers, grandmothers, to daughters, granddaughters. And each, on the art of weaving, which uh, artist Natalia is here representing, they share not only the technique, but also motives and patterns, which are ancestral patterns of communication around their people, among their people. And they will be representing the lives and animals and nature on their surroundings and what they want to preserve. So uh, this is a very important mosaic that we will visit next Friday because it's one of the unique street arts to uh, um, acknowledge ancestral people and the unation of people from the Americas. Toward values which are values beyond material values, but it's also values around preserving our history, nature, fauna, and flora, and supporting local artists, supporting local people, which also stands for uh, tour guides in this platform.
Here is a picture of the weavers or tesselons from the Anginas, from the community of Achahuata. So the, 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 some of the fabrics that they produce with the tea, or this technique, ancient technique of weaving. They make the colorful fabrics of the walls, which was originally, originally white from the alpacas. So they make them colorful through using different materials uh, of uh, veg, uh, plants, materials, and different patterns which are ancestral. And the techniques, they are found from the observation of nature itself. So the couple, here you see a map showing some of the people and uh, of the region that they took the inspiration for some of the artworks of the mosaic. And today, a tour made from home is a nice... Thank you, Natasha, for joining. A tour made from home is a nice opportunity to prepare a tour on the street because here we can also share maps of uh, to illustrate some of the works. So here in South America, this part here, they are representing different people. Uh, the Anti Suyo, the Kola Suyo, Conti Suyo, and Chincha Suyo people from Cusco, this region here where they have all the weavers, the ladies who makes this technique, but also the Quechua people will also extend in the different co uh, colors that you see, are the Anche Suyo people, the Kola Suyo, the Conche Suyo, and the Chincha Suyo people, which extends the territory from Ecuador, Peru, and Chile here, and Bolivia and Cusco, Peru and Ecuador and Colombia. So uh, the extension where you can find the different uh, inspiration, uh, influences of the Quechua people throughout the continent. So this makes us back to the concept of Abia Yala, or the mature land uniting the Americas, which is this, like, today we call them Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Colombia and Brazil, but remembering that these lands in the Americas had different originary names given by the originary people before the colonizers and when the colonizers arrived in, in the Americas. Like Brazil, for example, which is in this part of South America, had the name of, by the Tupi people here in this region, the name of Pindorama, but remembering that the other people from other different parts of Brazil would call their lands with their specific names. And here's a representation of the Andes with the Quechua people. And they did a lot of research of other people in the Americas that they would represent the different. This is a, an, a, a chief from a tribe a people in uh, in Brazil, which they found was already exterminated. And they found out that there was a family from these people, the, the, these originary people. They found in the middle of Mato Grosso do Sul in Brazil. So because of the almost being extinguished, they decided to make a mosaic dedicated to them, which is the Ofaye people known as the honey, the people from the honey, representing their, a tale from their people and stab, installed here on these streets where we will visit next week. So you see this street uh, in these pictures, the graffiti before, it's now all covered by mosaics, which we will show on Friday. And the originary people of the Ofaie in Mato Grosso do Sul in Brazil represented here with the tails of the turtle and the fox. And also people, originary people from... Look how beautiful this is. 
and I'm going to show you a video of the street now. Being next week, I will show you with the gimbal. How is the image there? Good, thanks, Ronnie. So we will see these next week, but we will also see. Uh, we will also thank you so much, Dana, and uh, all of you for your feedback. Uh, next week we will walk through this street, and we will go up to the um, Morro da Conceição, where you see. Uh, we will see other other cool mosaics and i'm going to share a little bit of what we will see on friday actually not next week this week and we'll go up steps here to see in detail some of these mosaics from the port zone of rio de janeiro where i run also live tours and uh, virtual tours to the cosmonaut mosaic there is a coffee place there, which is very cool, from an Argentinian, Angelo. And I will be there. This I was uh, giving a walking tour. And this is Morro da Conceição. A very nice place on the hills by the shore of the port area with restaurants like the one you see on your left side. And with um, a military base, a church unique historic houses so we will make this walk this Friday 3 p.m. minus 3 GM UTC and we will visit artists Natalia and John to share these artworks of Abi Ayala and a little bit of their work so this is gonna be here them working with other members of the community nice Ronnie please yes Dana also runs tours there. And uh, this is going to be a unique opportunity for you to ask them questions. So I highly recommend you come here to their Facebook page or to their Instagram is where you can also purchase uh, some of their artworks and that can be shipped directly to your country. as you wish with the um, uh, you can tailor and ask commission work for you and you know they are very engaged with the uh, with the local communities and they make a research asking for funding from the local government to be able to create this unique art pieces that we can share these stories together for example here they are sharing um, rare picture of the Ofaie people, the honey people from Mato Grosso do Sul in Brazil, which were considered extinguished in the middle of the 1950s. And they found out in this region, this part of Brazil, that there was a family, the Ofaie people, alive, which is resisting the local governments and the current government of uh, Jair Bolsonaro, which has been very uh, creating a genocide among our originary people these days in Brazil and in the Amazon as well. Now he is representing another originary people from the northern lands, the Selknan people, from the uh, very south lands of Chile and Argentina, the firelands, Terra do Fogo, here representing John and Natalia. Ah, you don't do tours in this mosaic, but you do tours with the Tomorrow Museum. Thank you, Dana. Yes, uh, it's interesting because we've been running different tours in the port area. But we've never covered the works of Natalia and John, which are really important to have this conversation about the movement of, uh, about the concept of Abiyayala. And here they are representing 
from the old, old ancient pictures and researches they did of the people of the fire land, Terra do Fogo, or Tierra del Fuego, the, some of the ancestral spirits. When I run tours in the port area, I also talk about the ancestral spirits of our people here in Brazil. And through this beautiful mosaic you see from closer with my camera, I will be showing this mosaic with some of the ancestral spirits of the people of the Terra do Fogo and the whales, which are the animals, sacred animals for these originary people. Natalia, they're working. And I'd like to know from you, uh, we will visit their studio. What else would you like to see if you have any... Uh, expectations, any uh, questions, anything that you would like to see covered. Thank you so much, Dana. Terra do Fogo, Tierra del Fuego. And uh, I think it's so nice when we have these opportunities because I am here saying and giving you an understanding of geography and you can check here on a map if you uh, explore the buttons here in your app that you have uh, different buttons that you can support the work I'm doing and part of the commission today in this month and these two weeks that has the hashtag stand with Ecuador, the commission of Hego will be directed to Staffy in Ecuador. So that's why uh, Dana is welcome also if you want to do that uh, in your some of your tours, thematic tours of uniting Latin America, South America, uh, that you can hashtag stand with Ecuador and then Hego will get their part of the commission, the 50, 40%, and they will direct to Staffy in Quito. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. Nice. Yes, Dana. So that's something uh, we wanted to call attention to on Hego. The importance that when we have this tool of reaching out to people of all over the world as global guides, guides connected, that we can use these tools to support each other. You guys and ladies there seeing our work and uh, you can support our work and we will receive our commission, and Hego will also now be uh, supporting by giving this to Steffi. So here in Morro da Conceição is the place where we will run the tour on Friday, and it's this street where we will go to share uh, and show the mosaic of Abia Yala. And Morro da Conceição, where I showed you on the video, will come up steps here. And the art studio of Natalia and John is located around here, where we will visit. And they are very integrated with the local communities, uh, teaching the techniques of mosaic. So here's the street where they installed and where we will walk with the camera. This is the Mar Museum in Praça Mauá, where Dana and I run tours, virtual tours. But we never came all the way here to show you what I'm showing you. So on Friday, we will do that for you. And at the end of the street, go up steps to show you the Abia Yala mosaic and the murals of Abia Yala. So I'd like to ask for you, uh, here's the Facebook of the Cosmonaut Mosaic, Mosaicos, if you want to follow. And I'd like to ask from your side, what is Abia Yala? Have you heard about Abia Yala now? Uh, for you who arrived later, would you like to know what the Abia Yala is? Do you have any specific questions?
here uh, is a landscape of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, uh, this is a view from the mountain of the Travessia Alto da Boa Vista. This is a hike I make and I promote on live tours here. Unfortunately, the it's very high. The antenna is, does not allow us to run uh, to have the Wi-Fi signal from the top of the Alto da Boa Vista. But I took this picture to share with you, showcasing the Corcovado Mountain, where the Christ Redeemer statue is located, and where we will run the tour of the train and the Christ Redeemer on this Wednesday after tomorrow. So I invite you to please join me on the tour to the Corcovado Mountain, which is going uphill, all the way up this mountain here on a train crossing the forest of the Tijuca National Park to all the way to the statue of the Christ Redeemer. And I tell you ahead of time that I've done that, Tati Araujo had done that. I don't know if Donna had done it, but we don't have a perfect Wi-Fi signal from there. So we will have interruptions. But since many people are very curious on seeing that, I will do, and I hope the weather is good so we can at least see a little bit of the statue and the view from the top, which is not this, is from this angle, but it's this view from the angle of the top of the Corcovado viewpoint. It's the first and most visited attraction in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now, we are uh, on the following week on... ...in Caradicão and in the Guanabara Bay, surrounded by the Guanabara Bay here. So I will give a tour on the Red Beach or the Praia Vermelha, which is down here. And if you support my work, I can open up another tour to go all the way up here with the gondola, with the cable car, which runs from Praia Vermelha here all the way. Let me get closer. The tour will take place here in Praia Vermelha. It is. It's very amazing. So... Uh, the, I will come here to Praia Vermelha and we will take the gondola, but that only if you support my work because I need to go up there, it takes more time. And then I will take the cable car all the way to Morro da Urca and then the cable car all the way to Sugarloaf Mountain. Out to the top here, we will have beautiful views. Hey, Mark, thanks. So if you want to see these tours, which will take place on uh, Friday, this Friday is the Abi Ayala, this Wednesday will be Corcovado Mountain and Christ Redeemer, and next Wednesday will be the Sugarloaf Mountain. I will also be running tours. Hey, here I am from my place. Welcome to my bedroom. And uh, I will be also running some tours, thematic tours connected with South America to support Steffi on her stand with Ecuador. So let's support her, let's support other guides, and uh, this is an opportunity to have a closer view of who we are, what we do, going into highlights in our cities, but also uh, off the beaten paths, showcasing you the real way of living that we have in our countries, in our cities, wherever we go. It's a unique opportunity. Thank you so much for being present, being here with me. I'd like to know if you have any other questions before we close. Nice, Mary, please do that. Yeah, you see myself when I watch these tours, I'm already planning for the places I want to go and visit to find these new opportunities. And here is the page of Steffi on Hey Go. Please follow Steffi for her tours on Hey Go. She has many followers. She runs many tours. She is a young lady, 28 years old, in Ecuador, in going through a difficult moment in 
South America, our Latin American countries has so many histories of oppression to um, global politics. And uh, at these moments, you have an opportunity to support works through the campaign we are running, but also directly to her tours. She will also run tours about the situations there around her neighborhoods, like she did today in the airport around her house. Also in ice cream places, curious things, and that you can ask directly to her. You get as excited as we do about your tours. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Mary Lou. I love to help you and support your tours. I got a big feel in the mail today, so I must wait to support more by tips in the future. <laughs> thank you, Ronnie. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, I wish there were more people like you all, like Mary, Ronnie, and Donna, many of you here present. Uh, please, if you can support the work with tips, also uh, support the work by taking snapshots in our live tours and sharing on your social media on hey go recommending our tours through the style we have which you've been able to get to know uh, on the tours you attend live and helping us spread the work about the work we do here in around the world in south america in brazil even when you know people traveling here is a way that you can recommend our live tours as well Rating, please leave uh, ratings to our tours in the Hego, but also on Google. Follow me in our live stream, social media, on Instagram. On YouTube channel at Rio Encantos. Rio Encantos. From there, I will be posting videos, tips. You can also request, make your requests for live tours, okay? And Brazil tours, Rio Encantos. Please share your testimonies, your, uh, st your stars on the experience you have virtually and live with me. Either on Google, I'm present also as Rio Encantos on TripAdvisor. If you need anything like a link, just get in touch with us and with me on Instagram asking for a link and I will be glad to share that with you. Thank you so much for your presence. Do you have any questions about Abhi Ayala? Hey Katie, thanks for joining. Let's get together from North to South America, all over the world now. For peace, for education, for a better world, volunteering our times, sharing uh, what we can share, donating what we can, something that is material and is uh, a leftover for us or something that's not only a leftover but that is material that we can share, why not share? Something that is uh, essential, but it's something that we can split in five, in ten, in two, and we all will have our share and peace. Why not share? That share that is from five, one piece that can be taken from you can multiply in five in a country in South America and makes a, a lot of difference for us every month. And in a place like Ecuador now, where the um, uh, to reach the essential things for our living, such as food, as is been increasing, tripling price, one donation of two dollars, five dollars can make a, a big difference for Stephanie. Okay, thank you so much, Ronnie, Mary Lou, sticking up with us there until the end of this tour. Katie, for joining, please come on a live stream. All of you who are still there present, thank you so much. See you on Wednesday.
on our tour to Corcovado and Cosme Velho. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye, Ronnie. Bye, Joey. Thanks for keeping up until the end. Hey, much love. Yay. <laughs> I'm now testing the new app. So I'm going to share the, some of the pictures of the places where I shared the tour today. Of Morro da Conceição, a flag from the neighborhood where Abiyayala Mosaics are located, the Cobra Grande. And I'm going to share all of that with you now. So we have it here. Yay, I'm using the new app now. <laughs> Goodbye.